One thing that was a little bit interested in, interesting to me, it didn't warm my heart. I was a little bit shocked by it. It was actually this. Meg The Stallion came out on LA Leakers. She said, Fuch taxed her for a quarter million dollars for the verse. This is, by the way, I'm going to let you hear what she's saying, and then I'm going to give my overall opinion. This is what she said. Let me just stop this right now. If Nicki hits Future, like hop on the song, Future not charging her. Big facts. Any nigga who thinks that, I know, I have proof, and I know niggas who the last collab they did, there's no money exchange. So when I heard Nicki saying this, Nicki sounds like, what's that new girl that who just got signed? Glorilla or something like that. No, 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 Nicki. I mean, Meg sounds like Glorilla. Like, oh, yeah, yeah he was going to tax me. What the f You're Meg the Stallion. Why the f the future tax you unless, maybe, maybe the internet hype about you, the likability about you, ain't what it really is in the industry. Because if Cardi want a, 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 a verse from Future, he's not charging. Facts. It's a swap. If Nicki wants a, a, a verse from Future, not charging. That's a swap. If Doja Cat wants a verse from Future, he's not charging. That's a swap. If you getting taxed a quarter million by Future and you supposedly this hot girl, big queen, it was very telling. But here's the thing. I'm wondering... Why the hell did she even say this? I'm going to shoot Meg some bail, by the way, on this. I'm going to shoot some bail. I know some of y'all might think, bro, bro, I don't, bro, I come in to spit the facts, bro. Like, nigga, I'm big act, bro. Like, I don't, I don't got to come here and just constantly grind axes. I do have an angle why she would pay this because I really think no matter what her reputation is, whatever people think about her, Bro, she's still an artist with a certain prestige. Why are you paying future court? Yo, all that like niggas saying they're charging half a million for a verse is not for other rappers who are lit. Let me just give you the like that's for the rapper who's trying to get on or the rapper who's on with the deal that's trying to get extra on. Meg, you're on. Future not charging a quarter million dollars. That's a swap. Unless Future just don't fuck with you or he might have no interest in working with you in the future. Because if any two artists, like for example, put like this. Megan Future, I would think that, and this was called a swap, right? Hey, you do this. And by the way, it's written into contracts like that. It's literally like, I'm trying to give y'all a little bit of, uh, uh, of like industry verbiage. It's written into contracts like that. Hey, there's no mon there's no money be being transferred. Um, this will be considered a swap, which means that you're gonna give this th this verse basically in promise that later on when you need a verse from me, I won't charge you. So, oh, when you hear these dumbass artists, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's half a million for a verse <laughs> for who? <laughs> Now, usually where that happens, like say, say Drake hops on Young Blue song, right? Which is your mind still. Drake could go to his label and say, yo, me on his song is going to do crazy numbers. I want to get paid a half a million dollars. That makes sense. Your artist is going to be severely helped by me for me to clear it or whatever the case is, right? Give me half a million dollars. That's how that works. But Meg isn't in that, in that, um, Situation. So this is what I thought, and I'm gonna shoot Me Meg some bail because I want to be fair. I think Meg might might have also done this because at the end of the day, forget what she has to pay. Everything she has to pay will be um, that's basically the expenses that her current record deal has to deal with. So the guy she's trying to get out of a record deal with is his name is Carl Crawford. So basically, say she dropped a project with no no features and say she makes $10 million. It's $10 million in profits, right? For the most part, obviously producer, whatever, right? But let's just say it's $10 million in profit. Now, for her who doesn't like the person who she signed to, she rather say, yo, future, take this 
300000 because I know I'm not going to make nothing from this project. I'm dropping it just to get off the label. So she's like, I'd rather get all y'all paid off of this because I ain't going to get paid off of this. And then when I get on Atlantic, because Atlantic, if you, if, I don't know if you guys heard news, Atlantic is going to sign her straight up, right? So she's, um, she is, no, no, it's not on Atlantic. No, she is about to go to Atlantic. She's on 300 right now. But 300 and Atlantic has some situation. Anyway, her next contract's going to be direct, but for her, she don't want the guy who's signing her now to make a lot of money. So the best thing for her is to rack up the bills to make it like, yo, no matter what we make, which she's expected to sell 50000 Okay, so whatever she they make, they have to be like, well, there is no profit because remember you have to pay – you have to pay future this, you have to pay whatever, whatever. Maybe that's an angle, so I'm shooting her some bail. So this might be like, you know, I think she really doesn't like that dude. I don't know why, whatever the case is, but she doesn't like the dude Carl Crawford. Um, maybe that's the reason why she's saying this. It was shocking to me that an artist of her caliber would say this because if Doja Cat said she had to pay a quarter million dollars for a future feature, it would confuse everybody. And that's why it's confusing me with her. So I think she's playing a game, and I think this is all instructed by Rock Nation, okay? Rock Nation, don't kill me. I see y'all on my ass. Chill. Act one, no issues no more, okay? Oh. Okay. They pay for the feature. Um, I'm going to shoot her some bail. I think that's a strategy of making sure the guy who's benefiting off the project, which is Carl Crawford, that's the last project he has with her, doesn't get a lot of money. And um, how do you do that? You basically run up the expenses and basically say, well, you're not going to get much profit because you have to pay out mad expenses. So Cole Crawford would be a little bit upset. And um, for her, she's like, well, whatever. And I would imagine the next time she works for Future, she would be like, yo, Future, yo, I did that shit for you when I was with that bitch ass nigga. Yo, we, you, it's obviously we're going to do a swap now. But it was very odd to me, knowing how the industry works, that Meg Thee Stallion is not doing a swap with Future, okay? Either that or he doesn't fuck with her like that, which I've never heard Future say nothing about Meg. You know what I mean? And Future and Tori, not like gang, so whatever. Anyway, um, that's one of the things. Um, 